remember when there was new Coke? Well, Coke has, has you know, come back from that fiasco um, with some limited editions. And their latest limited edition, um, Gail Cooper wrote about in Taste of Home. Um, she tried. It's called Coca-Cola Y3000. Um, she says it's stupendously sweet. Um, number one, um, that Coca-Cola uh, brags that it's futuristic flavored and was co-created with artificial intelligence. It's the first limited flavor co-created with humans and artificial intelligence. And the insights were gathered by both human and AI uh, for for this. And what she talked about, and I have not tasted this, and Sally, I don't think you've tasted it either. I have not. When you open the can, you almost get bowled over by a super strong fragrance. Uh, the taste, it's cherry, strawberry, raspberry, generic, fruit punch. Um, those were the tastes that she sensed most. Um, it tastes like candy, if you would. Uh, is Coca-Cola onto something using AI to develop this, or is it just a PR, you know, PR push that's going to go nowhere? Well, I definitely have not tried it, Phil, um, and I am very curious what AI has decided that we that we would like to taste in a Coke. I I do remember New Coke when I was a kid, and I think about wow, there was no social media then. But even still, without the social media, there was an uproar. People were were not excited about new Coke. And so they had to bring back that classic Coke for everyone. But they are a company that has experimented with a lot of limited edition flavors. And they're saying, you know, this this article is saying that this one is kind of like, you know, what we called when I was a kid, a suicide where you would take your your cup. And you would go to the fountains and you would get a little bit of, you know, a little bit of Coke, a little bit of Fanta, a little bit of Dr. Pepper, root beer, just put a little bit of everything in there. And it sounds like that that is what this new uh, futuristic AI Y3000 Coca-Cola is. What I really wish that Coke Y3000 would be water, just plain <laughs> old water. You know, we're, we're talking about, you know, over 40% of people having less soda when they're on Ozempic. Water, guys. Hey, Coke, Pepsi, pay attention to your water business. Be sure to visit supermarketguru.com for the latest marketing analysis issues and trends. And don't forget to join us back here next Monday at 2.30 p.m. Eastern for more.